Analog to Digital to PAX, a look at how binary digits are used to create both images and text for PAX. PAX is the picture archival and communication system used for imaging informatics. Remember that in dealing with this topic, some theoretical considerations have been simplified. This is especially true of the concepts in physics. The technical aspects of imaging, which have been greatly simplified here, only serve to facilitate the understanding of the digital imaging process. The aim here is not in-depth technical expertise, but the understanding of digital imaging. The term bit is a contraction for binary digit. A binary digit, or bit, is the smallest unit of information in a computer. It is used for storing information and has a value of true or false, or on and off. Using binary code, we can demonstrate anything in the universe, including letters. Bit depth refers to the number of shades of gray or color information that can be stored in an image. The higher the bit depth of an image, the more colors or shades of gray that can be shown. Bit depth shows us the number of shades of gray that we can show between black and white. Colors or shades of gray of the images are presented on a medical imaging monitor. That monitor is calibrated to the human eye. A medical grade professional monitor should be used by individuals interpreting the information off the display. That does not imply it has to be an FDA listed display product, but it does mean that it has to have minimum standards of performance as noted by DICOM Part 14 Grayscale Display Function. Calibrating a display to read grayscale images normally means adjusting the luminance response curve of the monitor to reflect what are called just noticeable differences or JNDs which is the differences just noticeable to the human eye to create p-values or presentation values. This monitor shows an image created with p-values which were based upon the just noticeable differences in luminance index that we see to the right. To create the image, we map these grayscales based upon lookup tables for the specific image and position. The resolution of the display monitor can vary greatly. Usually we use between a 3 megapixel display and a 5 megapixel display for medical imaging, but we can use monitors with less resolution and more resolution as well. The decision for matrix resolution for determining which display format to use is driven by the modalities being rendered. There is only one fixed non-negotiable modality per the US FDA standard and that is for mammography. A digital imaging system is comprised of the following components. A digital imaging receptor a digital image processing unit, an image management system, image and data storage devices, an interface to a patient information system, a communications network, and a display device with viewer operated controls. A digital image is not an exact snapshot of reality. It is only a discrete approximation mapping pixels to a matrix for visual display. Although the data is precise, the human that is interpreting the data relies on their visual perception of reality. Remember, no two humans are identical and perceptions vary from person to person. Digital imaging is a two-part process. 
the collection of data concerning the interaction of some form of energy with tissue and the transformation of these data into an image or set of images using specific computational tools. This process consists of image data capture, image data processing, image display, image data archiving or storage, and image data distribution and transmission. A key factor in digital medical imaging is the transformation of signal intensity changes into contrast concentration changes. Each modality is unique. In imaging modalities like CT or PET imaging, there is a linear relationship between the signal changes and the contrast changes. However, in other modalities like MR, this relationship is not linear and needs to be carefully considered during acquisition. There are a number of different steps involved in patient positioning and exposure technique. Once we have gotten an exposure, we can actually format or enhance that exposure for visualization, analysis, and management. Remember, we're trying to optimize the data to visualize an image with our eyes using visible light. We must know how to capture the data and create images. Energy from the electromagnetic spectrum is converted into visible light for images. These images are displayed on medical monitors. The signals or energy we capture is continuous. Whereas when we want to make a graphic representation of that data, we need to change the analog or continuous signal into numbers or a digital signal. To convert an analog image into a numeric data for processing by the computer, there are three steps. The first of which is sampling the frequency of the energy wave. Next, we need to take that sample and quantify it or turn it into numbers. Then we take those numbers and we utilize those to make intensities which we can see. Here we can see the intensities have been mapped to an image matrix. An image matrix is a matrix composed of rows and columns of pixels. And if we look at the depth, we also have voxels. Each pixel is assigned a numeric value that represents a shade of gray based on the attenuation profile, characteristics of the volume of tissue imaged. These images are displayed as visible light on a monitor. A histogram is a two-dimensional barcode for utilization of the intensities to be displayed. We choose the values of the image that we wish to display on the monitor from the histogram. Contrast is mapped using an H and D curve. We superimpose this H and D curve over the histogram to choose the values of interest to be displayed. The histogram is a reflection of the anatomy and position, and it is a 2D bar graph of the intensities of pixels taken for that image in that position. As we said earlier, we can have red, blue, and green pixels as well as shades of gray. Let's take a look at the application of the pixels and the colors with this chest x-ray to the right. You'll notice by changing the intensity and contrast, we're able to change the image itself and how we're able to look at the image. Therefore, one digital image can be manipulated or processed or enhanced 
to be viewed in many ways to provide the information that we need for an interpretation. The lookup table provides our original image and then by using contrast and brightness we can enhance the image to make it better for representation of the information that we need to display. Each pixel can only be one color or one shade of gray. For color, each pixel can display either red, blue, or green, which are the primary colors, which make up all colors in the spectrum. The primary colors for the visible light spectrum are red, blue, and green, and secondary cyan, magenta, and yellow. A pixel can display color or black and white. We have 255 shades for color, which are represented by binary numbers. For example, pure red is 255.00 in the red, green, blue scale. A dark red has a different RGB number. These numbers are how we code color and intensity. Remember, each pixel in the matrix can only be one color or intensity and one shade of gray. All of the pixels form the image when looked at at a distance. If we look at the slice of cross-sectional anatomy and then enlarge the area, we can see the pixels that have created the image. The biomedical imaging data is recorded in the health informatics portion of healthcare, which is a combination of information science, computer science, and healthcare. Medical imaging informatics was created about the same time as the electronic health records to improve the efficiency and reliability of medical services using data. Anatomical information comes from the application and recording of diverse energy interactions with body tissues. These interactions are then interpreted by vendor-specific software programs to create medical images. The medical images are then interpreted by the radiologist for reports and distribution of the data to requesting physicians. The standards for creating medical images are basically the integration of DICOM and HL7. DICOM is Digital Imaging and Communication in Medicine, which allows equipment to exchange information or talk to each other. HL7 allows text to be incorporated into the images and also into reports. There are many components to creating a medical image. Take a moment to study this graphic and see how many different components that you can name. One of the big takeaways from this graphic is DICOM in, DICOM out. Machines talking with machines. The seven layers of the OSI operating systems information model shows how we can send data and receive data. DICOM is a standard that is a framework for medical imaging communication. Take a moment to look at the function of each one of the layers that represent how we utilize DICOM for communicating imaging and text. The communication profile used simply states which of the DICOM supported communication stacks is used. Those available are the point to point or the operating systems international standard and the transmission control protocol and internet protocol stacks. Sections particular to the communications stack chosen are included in how we send messages. Remember, medical images and their associated text descriptions are a combination of both visual images and text. 
When a radiologist performs a read of an exam, whether it's from a direct audio capture system or a phone-based system or even voice recognition software, the information is forwarded to a transcription service. The service takes the audio information and transcribes it into text form. The transcription is then forwarded to the hospital information system and the radiology information system. The RISC system sends the report data to the PACs via HL7 and ORU. In the past, everyone was having problems with the amount of information and the different procedures and protocols and standards that they had to use. So we kind of simplified it today. Last year, we recognized that our processes were far too complex, so we put them in the cloud. Made life easier. Enterprise PACS refers to an automatically controlled PAC system whereby images coming from usually multiple modalities, often at multiple locations, are directed between diagnostic viewing stations and archive servers with short, midterm, and long storage. The Image and Data Acquisition Gateway sends the PACS controller and archive server information that can be displayed on integrated workstations by a digital network. There are many imaging modalities in medical imaging. In general, they are not connected to the PACS controller and archived directly, but to an acquisition gateway as a buffer. The gateway checks the DICON compliance of the image and makes necessary correction if needed before it forwards the image to the PACS controller. Several imaging modalities can share a gateway at a single time. A picture archiving communication system is the integration of imaging modalities from medical imaging and various information systems from the hospital for effective clinical operation. The major components of PACS are the radiology information system gateway, image acquisition gateway, PACS controller and archive server, display workstations, application servers, communication networks, PACS monitoring, and PACS software. Here is a graphic representation of a PACS system. When integrating the HIS, RIS, and PACS, we need to understand that each system remains unchanged in its configuration, data, and perform function. Each system is expanded in both hardware and software to allow them to communicate with the other systems. Functionality is germane to each one of the systems and independent of the others. The hospital information system is the information system for patient care and managerial information. The hospital information system interfaces with many other information systems that are spread throughout the hospital. This graphic shows the functionality of the radiology information system, what the system does, and which systems it interfaces with. We integrate medical images through the use of the PACS controller and image archiver. The gateway is a computer that converts data from manufacturer's specification to a PAC standard format that is compliant with DICOM data formats and forwards the image study to the PACS controller or display workstations. Imaging examinations along with pertinent patient information from the acquisition computer, the HIS, and the RIS are sent to the PACS controller. Let's take a look at the functionality of the hospital information system and the radiology information system. This would include admission, discharge, and transfer data, orders and scheduling, and radiology reports. PAX uses the data from the HIS and RIS and the images from the modalities. Thank you for your time, and if you'd like to get more detail on any of the subjects that were shown in this presentation, take a look at some of our other CE courses that are available.